episode 77. There's always another way. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilson. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the 77th episode of the very best podcast in the world. Your source, the only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, a while ago, pretty exactly, uh, my math sucks, 15, um, episode 59, <laughs> Uh, we discussed how to exist without negativity. And in that, the secret to rediscovering or looking at things in a different perspective was all about framing, right? And so uh, this episode is similar uh, in a way, uh, but different in another. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for those of you who haven't listened to episode 59, go ahead and listen to it now or later or whenever you feel like it. Now, this episode is really about a Shakespeare quote, which says, nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And that's quite interesting uh, if you look at it, because uh, it kind of discusses in itself the importance of framing things for yourself and making them feel good for yourself. Basically, what it says is that there's always two sides to the coin or, you know, whatever saying is most popular <clears throat> in your, sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that essentially is what it boils down to. And today, uh, we're going to look at it in context to the COVID, COVID situation. <laughs> weird, uh, weird situation. I think, um, none of us really have lived through another pandemic, or at least there are very few people left who have. And, um, let's get started. Why do we not? Now, one of the most important things is, again, and I stress this in, I don't know, pretty much every other episode, is uh, to become, learn to become aware of the difference of your situation uh, and that you uh, will find yourself aware of the situation. And only from that status on can you influence it, right? If you run through life, you're not going to be able, you know, if you run through life in reflect, uh, unreflected, I should rather say, it's uh, very difficult to find the time and the peace to sit down and really contemplate what's going on. Now, this is true in particular for challenging situations. In, in life, right? And that's where we come to the current situation of the lockdown. You know, a lot of us are uh, confined um, to small spaces, you know, like small apartments can't be everybody as beneficial as, you know, sitting on a big estate and on a big piece of land without neighbors and, you know, being able to roam freely as we did just pretty much one year ago. So, uh, you know, there's another aspect of uh, money shortages and, you know, people left and right getting laid off from their jobs. You know, it's the situation where, you know, only one year ago you could, uh, if you were unsatisfied with your employer, uh, so you had one, you know, it was like, uh, fuck you, I'm going to go to another one because everybody was looking the economy was doing very good. Most importantly, though, it's 
insecurity. Uh, and, I, and I don't mean personal insecurity. I mean insecurity of what's going to become of the world, right? There are those optimists who try to sway us into believing that as soon as everybody's vaccinated, everything will be back to normal. But that doesn't coincide with economic terms, economic fundamental terms. You know, while a lot of the industry was carrying on for a lot of nations, uh, tourism, for instance, is a very big, if not the biggest factor in their GDP. So those nations will take a long time to recover and probably years, a lot of companies will go bankrupt with that a lot of employees will be laid off with that a lot of families will go into hunger you know so it's all of these questions whether you know is it going to hit me next uh, you know that's a bothering question for a lot of us um, but uh, yeah uh, that's i think the insecurity is the most uh, important point to consider even though you may not be hit by a layoff or a shortage of money immediately. Uh, you see people around you that are affected by it. Now, you have to learn to differentiate between the situation you are currently experiencing and then differentiate between uh, or differentiate your or set your mental attitude about it against the actual situation. Now, if the situation is positive, for instance, you know, um, it's very easy. Uh, and you, there are always those who try to find the hair in the soup, always, you know, regardless of the situation. But that's not what this is about, right? Um, there are positive aspects even to this COVID situation. You know, for instance, uh, you get to share time with your family because uh, those who you spend your time, uh, your free time with, for instance, are not allowed to, to visit you. Uh, then we have the freedom to invest your money uh, you know, not into a vacation, for instance, uh, but maybe into your house. So a meaningful investment because you invest into something which lasts, you know, rather than a, an experience that you go through. You know, you have time to spare. Uh, and that's important to become aware of the positive aspects. You know, to sit down and reflect about what this pandemic can offer you and your loved ones in a positive way that otherwise wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been for the pandemic. Now, one important question you're going to have to ask yourself is how would I react to the situation if I didn't add any unnecessary and negative thought to it. And that's where we get to the reframing part, uh, which I mentioned in episode 59. Now, I'm going to ask the question again, deliberately. How would I react to the situation if I didn't add any unnecessary negative thought to it? And it's important to ask yourself the question, and you have to be very aware of the situation. So you have to be reflected. You have to be aware of the situation as it is in a more or less neutral sense so that you can at least look at it at an, from a neutral angle, if not even finding out positive aspects of it. And that's important. Now, another question you want to ask yourself in this context always is how would you experience this situation 
without your mind's negative influence. Because as I said, it's very easy for the mind to spin out of control in a negative situation, but it seldomly does in a positive one. So as soon as you start reframing your opinion about a situation, if you're aware of the situation to a degree where you can actually influence it and give it a positive spin, that will allow you then to take control of it because your mind is going to be enabled to find the hair in the soup that I just mentioned, right? Does it make sense so far? So I think, you know, when you experience a positive situation, your mind, as I said, doesn't really come into play because you're picking it up with all of your senses rather than just with your mind. You know, if you're aware of the situation, you'll be able to use all your other senses, your sense of smell, your sense of hearing, uh, your sense of sight, you know, your sense of haptics, for instance, you know, how does the situation feel? What's the temperature? You know, what's the smell? You'll be able to enjoy much more if you are aware of the situation. And I think that's where the important point is to tell yourself that there is always another way to look at it and that there is if you learn to be aware of the of the situation you'll be able to reframe it in a positive very positive sense to then lock out your mind trying to put a negative spin to it one last thing mentioned in this context is of course the fear of loss right um but with this covid situation what are you effectively going to lose you know sure you may have a mortgage on your house maybe you're part of one of these cultures that spends all of their money on the house even more than they should but at the end of the day you know if you lose everything as i said in friday's episode what do you actually need to really exist and i think with that question i'm gonna leave you for now um, to contemplate about that and i think uh, it's very important that we go more into this awareness training and i'll try to do more episodes about it because that's one of the key pillars really to be able to manipulate situations now, manipulating is a negative has a negative connotation but uh, reframing experiences that you go through on your life's journey in a positive way so that you can you know make it make it easier for yourself in that sense i wish you a very successful day if you already had a very successful day um you know just uh, have a good night um, tune in again tomorrow for the next episode and what i'm asking you again what i promised you i would ask every day pretty much is that you subscribe to this podcast and share this episode with a friend that's the co-host Stevie getting pissed off because I'm on the microphone too long. I shall see you again tomorrow. And that's the coffee machine waking me up. See you guys. Bye-bye.